Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Windows 11 installation media on a bootable USB drive. In order to do that, you have to go to this page right here, and the link will be in the description. And before you actually download it, it's a good idea to read the directions that come with this. So if you click on this plus sign right here, and then scroll down, and go to this section right here under using the media creation tool. Step five is really important because it tells you you need at least an eight gigabyte flash drive and also tells you that any content on the flash drive will be deleted and that is the truth. So make sure there's nothing important on that flash drive before you do this. So after reading the directions and making sure there's nothing important on the flash drive, go back up and hit the minus sign and then make sure you click on download now in this section. And when you do that, it's gonna download the media creation tool, which is a very small file that you're gonna to run to actually go through and download Windows 11 and create a bootable USB drive. After you download the media creation tool, you need to find it on your machine. By default, with most browsers, it's gonna be in your downloads folder, and that's where it is on my machine, and it's only about nine megabytes in size. So once you find the file, you just need to double click on it, and that will start up the tool. And you can go ahead and minimize this window, and it's gonna go through and do a few things before it offers you some options. So the first thing that's gonna ask you is you've gotta accept the license terms. And if you're bored, you can read all of this, but whether you read it or not, you have to accept it or else you can't go any further. So you accept that, and then it's gonna go through and check out a few more things, and then it's gonna come up and ask you a couple of questions. And it's gonna read your machine that you're doing this on to pick up what language you're using. And if for some reason you want to change to a different language, you can uncheck this checkbox and then pull down the language drop down and pick whichever language that you want to use for your Windows 11 installation media. So I'm going to leave it for English United States. And the addition, you can't change it. It's just Windows 11. So that's all you can do there. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then it asks you, what media do you want to use? And we're going to use a USB flash drive. And like it says in the directions, it has to be at least 11 gigabytes in size. The other option, which is not commonly used, is to download this to an ISO file that you have to burn to a DVD later. And the problem is that most modern PCs, especially new enough PCs to run Windows 11, don't even have an optical drive. So it's gonna be pretty uncommon to use this second option. So we'll leave it on the default. So we'll click Next. And then it asks you, okay, which drive do you want to use? And you have to have your USB drive in a USB port so you can see it. And it's important that you have it in the fastest USB port that you have available. So you might have a USB 2.0 port, which is not very good, or a 3.0 port on the top of your case, or you might have a 3.1 or 3.2 Gen 2 port. And what you're looking for is a port that's the fastest, that's 10 gigabits per second, if at all possible. So have the USB drive in the fastest port, and then it's gonna show you which drive that it sees and make sure that you understand that all the files that are already on that USB drive are gonna be deleted. So if you know that and you're ready to go, go ahead and click Next. And now it's gonna download Windows 11 over the internet. And how long this takes depends on how fast your internet connection is. And after it downloads it, it's gonna actually create the installation MIDI on your USB drive. And how long that takes depends on how fast the USB drive is and what USB port you plugged it into. So if it's a USB 2.0 drive and a USB 2.0 port, it's gonna take a lot longer to write out the installation MIDI so we're going to go ahead and let this run and I'll speed it up.
through this process, you'll have a bootable USB drive that has a copy of the Windows 11 installation program. This will let you install a fully functioning copy of Windows 11, but you'll eventually need a license key in order to activate it. And you can use this on a brand new machine or a used machine, a machine that you built from parts, but this lets you install Windows 11. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? You have a lot to say.